Hey everybody, I'm Arbazir and welcome to The Flame in the Flood. So, The Flame in the Flood is a very interesting survival game. It caught my eye a while back, so I figured I'll check it out. Now, this is a very early beta version. The game isn't even in early access yet, although I think it will be soon. So, this is a game by a company called The Molasses Flood, which is a small studio started by ex AAA developers, people who worked on Bioshock Infinite, among other things and the game was kickstarted a while back. So, this is a survival roguelite kind of game. It reminds me a little bit of Don't Starve, but not because it plays anything like Don't Starve, but because it's kind of the same principle. It's a top-down view roguelite survival game with a very distinctive art style, because this game definitely has a very specific, easily recognizable art style, as you'll find out as soon as we start playing. So, as I mentioned, this is a very early beta version, 0.1.001. So to say this isn't anywhere close to what the final game will be, would be an understatement of the year. Just keep that in mind, but the game is playable enough already, so we're going to play it a bit. So, the game does have an intro, so we're going to check that out. You can skip it if you like, because it plays every single time you start a new game. So, the basic concept behind the game is that you travel down a procedurally generated river as you try to survive, which means there are two parts to the game. The first one is the standard survival, where you gather resources, you craft, you try not to die. And the second one is rafting. And rafting is... special. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Camp Pinewood. A fine home for a spell, but it's time to move on and see where this dog came from. Maybe there's someone else out there. So this small starting area is always the same. You will always find the same exact items. It's just something to give you a start. Kind of. Examine. Bunkhouse. Cleaned this place out a long ago. Nothing left but dust. Okay. We'll search the box. This is also always the same. You will always find jerky, splint and night crawlers. We can eat the jerky and we can use splint to fix a broken bone, for example. And actually, let's check the inventory and we'll go through these screens. So first, we got goals. Our only goal right now is to find a stronger signal. Then we got afflictions. We don't have any afflictions at the moment, but this screen will tell you how to fix them, if you can fix them. So, for example, if you have a broken bone, it will tell you that you can use a splint. We got crafting. We can't craft a whole lot at the moment, but we can craft some tinder, which is used to ignite fire. And we will need to ignite fire many times. Then we got our inventory. So we have our own backpack. We got Aesop's bag. Aesop is the dog. And we got the raft stash. We can only use the raft stash while we're at the raft, as you might have guessed. We can refill the canteen if we want to, which is definitely a good idea. Because, you know, you have to drink. And finally, we got the outfitter. This is what we're wearing at the moment. So, let's move on then. I think we picked up everything that we could have picked up. We just got the raft now. So, as I mentioned, rafting is... special. <laughs> I'll put it this way. From my very limited experience with the game so far, right now it's far easier to die from the rafting bit than from the actual survival bit. It's so easy to crash into a rock. Because the raft controls can be a little bit wonky at times. Let's just put it that way. We can speed up with spacebar if we want to, but it's not a very good idea unless you have a lot of space and you know for a fact 
that you're not at risk of crashing into things. If you crash into a rock, nothing might happen, you might be completely fine. But more often than not, you will end up with a broken bone, for example, which can be a big problem. So yeah, it's a good idea to be careful. You know, not crashing into things is generally good for your health, as you might have guessed. And as I mentioned earlier, the river is procedurally generated. Wow, okay, that's bad. We are so going to crash here. Yep, we can't go left that far. Okay, we are fine. Alright, we're fine. I thought we won't be for a moment. Okay. Yep, this is a little bit more shaky than before. Alright, we're good. Let's maybe find some area to explore. Maybe we can find some water, because you can refill your canteen. Hold that thought. But you can also find contaminated water as you explore, and then you have to clean it. Okay, so far so good. We see some areas ahead of us. So we'll check that out. 150 meters on the right side. Let's just be careful, not crash into things. I'm trying to be very careful about not crashing because yeah, I already died several times just from crashing my raft. It's really not good for your health. Alright, we can dock. Great success with Red Crash. Let's look around then. So sometimes you can run into things like wolves and there's no way to kill them right now as far as I'm aware. Oh, I didn't necessarily want a fire, but here we are. We can clean water, but... Do we actually have any contaminated water at the moment? Or suspicious water? Apparently we did have some suspicious water. Okay. I don't think we really want to craft anything else at the moment. Maybe some more tinders, because that would be useful in the future. And cattails are pretty easy to find most of the time. Alright, well, let's move on. So, leave. Also, if you run into the fire, you will get burned skin. So, I would suggest not just running over the fire. It's usually not good for your health. This area seems to be reasonably big. We found some stuff. Also, if you run into a wolf or something similar, yeah, the only thing you can do is to try to scare it off, like with your stick, and run away, or get eaten. That's the only way I found to deal with it. Hopefully we won't run into one. Just yet. That would be nice. We didn't find a whole lot around here so far. This area seems to be mostly empty. Okay, well, I was hoping to find more than this. So what did we really get? Not a lot. Check the inventory. Useful for cheating burns, bites, scratches and rashes. Okay. That might be useful in the future. We might want to eat sometime soon. Alright, let's keep moving back to the raft from the looks of it. Not much we can find here. Alright, back to the raft. And let's leave. Yeah, leaving can be a bit of a problem sometimes. <laughs> you can't just stand right next to the raft and right click to leave. The game seems to be a little bit picky about where exactly you have to stand and what exactly you have to click. I assume small details like that will get fleshed out because this is a 0.1.001 version. But yeah. There we go, we can leave. Alright, can we go left? Yes, we probably can. What's this over here? I'm not quite sure what that is. Some kind of house? We'll check that out, I'm curious. Let's just not crash, that would be great. Dead Glen. That sounds inviting. Interesting music. Okay, we'll pick up all the cocktails. And let's move on. 
Let's see what that house is. I hope it doesn't live up to its name. But there are no zombies in the game, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> Dandelion tea, alright. There's the house. Was that it? Can we use this as shelter? Doesn't look like it. You can't jump in this game, by the way, I'm just saying. That's not a thing that you can do. Alright, yep, I don't think we can use this as shelter. I can't actually get up there from the looks of it. Alright, be that way. Let's move on. More dandelions. Anything interesting in this area? More cattails. There's the house. Yeah, that was the house that we saw. So we can search it. We can probably use it. For shelter. There are some boxes around here. Grubs and rugs. Okay. Oh, inventory full. Right. Aesop. Old buddy. Let's see. You can take some of these. We can eat the cattails if we want to. But let's just move them to Aesop's bag for now. We can eat the jerky instead. This will be plus 25 and we are at 69. So it's fine. Alright, and now we can pick up the rest. We'll take the rugs. Dandelion. Another box. Moldy lamp. Yeah, I don't think I want to do anything with that. Penicillin schematic. Oh, the black wolf. Yeah, you cannot survive for long in an encounter with a wolf. You need traps to kill it. So you can frighten the wolf and buy a little bit of time with the space bar. Yeah, can we hide inside that house or something? Yep, I, I ran into the fire. Something I mentioned earlier, you will get burned skin if you run into the fire. The house is empty. And now I can check my afflictions. Also, something I too should mention is that if you are on the inventory screen, the time still runs. The game is not paused if you're on your inventory screen. So that wolf will be a bit of a problem. We can try to scare it off by some time, but we need to get the heck out of here. Get out of here, wolf. We don't want you here. No one invited you. Yep, get out of here. Yep. And now we have a laceration. Fortunately, it won't follow us to the raft because it can be really damn hard to get back onto the raft at times. But that wolf messed us up. It really did. Okay. Well, we have a laceration and a burn skin. Although, to be fair, the burn skin was purely my own fault. Running into a fire usually isn't a very smart idea. You know, like 99% of the time, running into the fire is not a good idea. We just looted that. We got a raft part. That might come in handy in the future. We need to find some area to step off the raft for a moment. So, let's see. I'm not actually seeing anything. We are dehydrating. And you can't go into the inventory while you're on the raft. That's just not something you can do. We need to find an area to step off the raft. Then we can drink. Okay, I see something 200 meters away. Let's go a little bit faster. Sometimes you just have to go faster. We got more loot. Nope, our inventory is full. It should have used the raft stash or something. Alright, let's step off the raft. Dead rise. I hope that won't be us. You know, us being dead on the dead rise. Okay. We can't get rid of the burn skin, but first of all, let's actually drink. Because, you know, that's usually a pretty good idea. Not dying of thirst. I'm just saying. We'll drink some more. No wolves, I hope. Let's drink a little bit more. And we need to sleep soon, because, yeah, our fatigue is down to one out of 100. That's not very good either. Anyway, let's cure the burned skin. It doesn't look like we can cure the laceration. We don't have a stitching kit or a bandage. And I don't think we can make one. I'm pretty sure we can't make one. We can make some penicillin, apparently. Oh. Oh yeah, it requires a fire. Right, that's fine. I don't think we can make a bandage or a stitching kit. No, we cannot. Very unfortunate. 
Yep, we can't do any of that. We'll just have to deal with the laceration. Anyway, let's maybe find a shelter. That will be awesome. And now we are also wet. So being wet in this game is really, really bad. Oh, great. There's a wolf. Anyway, I was going to say, being wet in this game is really bad because your body temperature will drop rapidly. The only good way to deal with it is to find shelter. So we need to find shelter, basically. And yeah, stepping back onto the raft can be really damn hard at times. This is quite possibly the most irritating part right now. The fact that it can be so damn hard to get back onto the raft. You just have to stand on a very specific spot and click on a very specific spot. You can't just stand anywhere near it. Anyway, let's move on. We need to find the shelter and soon. We need to go left, avoid the rocks. There might be a shelter around here perhaps. There's a bus. You can usually use a bus as shelter. So hopefully that will be good enough. No wolves, please. At least I was able to use a bus as shelter before. Hopefully that will also be the case here. We can use the fire. I think that's lower priority at the moment. We really need to sleep. Because our fatigue is almost at zero at this point. We found a box. Oh yeah, our inventory is full, I think. Wolf hide. Let's check Aesop real quick. So inventory... He can grab some of our stuff. Let's see, what can he grab, Dandelion? Move to Aesop. I just want to grab the rugs. Or whatever there was in there. Wolf hide, right. Alright, let's sleep, because we seriously have to. We are super tired. Six hours. That should be enough. Hopefully the rain will be gone by then. And we will be fully rested. Yep, we're fine. Okay. But now we need to eat and drink. So, drink. Done. And we need to eat. Might just eat some cattails. That's only plus five. What else can we eat? Well, let's just eat the cattails. We have a limited inventory space anyway. We need to get back to the raft. Or we need to find some suspicious water because you can find suspicious water in barrels around areas like this sometimes and then you can use a fire to clean it but I'm not seeing any oh now we have a, an infection so that's a problem but we can cure it with penicillin first we need to actually make it using the fire alright let's make one then I'm glad we actually have that option because we found the moldy lump there we can make some tea just one and more tinders for fires in the future like so and I think that's all we can really do right now yep all right we are super hungry at the moment so leave we cured the infection. Good. Let's try not to starve to death. Oh, we, no, we didn't cure it. We just need to do it now. There, it's done. Let's eat inventory before we starve to death, which we are pretty much about to. We can eat some night crawlers. That seems pleasant. No, not really. Well, we'll eat that too. I think we need to find some more food. We got some grubs. That's plus 15. That will be good enough for now. Consume. That's the raft part. We should probably move that to the raft stash. Same with old lumber. Oh yeah, the dandelion tea is plus 20 hydration and plus 10 hunger. Should probably make more of those. So let's have a look. We can make more, I think. Let's just make as many as possible. Did we move some dandelion to Aesop? Also, these numbers don't actually update because this is a super early version of the game. You just need to kind of keep track of what you have and what you don't.
Wait, he has one dandelion. Okay, one is not enough. Let's move on. We should be fine for now. We can actually just drink the tea. Might as well. Just plus 10 hunger and plus 20 hydration. Alright, so back to the raft, I think. Did we explore this area? Yep. Okay, back we go. So inventory and we need to fill the canteen. Back to 100. And back we go. There, we actually managed to use the raft without wasting 20 seconds. Hype! I like the music in the background. So, let's try not to crash, as usual. We are already thirsty, but not that much. You'll be fine. I don't think we can go left. Nope. We need to go through here. I'm surprised I didn't crash at least once at this point. Because seriously, this part can be really tricky. Ah, and now I did. Well, that's what you get when you try to navigate and talk at the same time. Yep, we are now wet. Can we load that? Yes, we got some grabs. Fortunately, we didn't break any bones. So it's not that bad, we are just wet. We can deal with that. We got some new areas. We can check those out. 150 meters. Try not to crash. Can we go through here? Nope. I can't go left. Not as far as I thought I would be able to. And I think we're going to crash. I can't turn. Yep. Well, at least our raft is fine. Because we were moving very slowly. I want that area on the right, but I just can't go there. Yeah, I tried to turn right, but I turned left instead. That's how it goes sometimes. I can't go here either. Oh well. It's unfortunate. And now I can't go left. Yep, I can't go left. I just can't. We'll have to skip all of this. That was disappointing. We didn't check a single area. I just wasn't able to. You can't always turn in the direction that you want to turn in. Hopefully we'll find something new soon. Before we starve. Nope, I can't really go left. We'll go this way. And I can't turn left! Yep, we're going to crash, damn it. At least we are still fine. Surprisingly enough, but we are dehydrating. Alright, we need to get off the raft. Let's go right. That's quite a lot of areas around here. Let's get at least one of them. That icon looks new. I've not seen that before. Alright, let's go left. Nope, I can't go left. Damn it. Can we dock? Yes, we can dock. There we go. I almost missed that one. Rocky port. That was a very rocky docking. Alright, we need to drink or we're just going to die. So let's start from that perhaps. We'll drink and then we'll refill the canteen right away. So drink. Oh. We got intestinal parasites, really? Okay. Oh, it's suspicious water. Right. I didn't clean it. That was my bad. Didn't notice. It's suspicious. Okay, well... We are probably going to die as a result. We don't have any more penicillin. Or anything we could cure that with, unfortunately. We are also very hungry. We can drink the tea. At least that will also solve the hydration problem at the same time. And some grubs. We are very hungry and very cold. Mostly because we are wet. Not a whole lot we can do about that right now. Oh, it looks like that's something we actually need. A few boxes. Maybe we can find something useful. Cotton pants. And some gloves. I don't think we have any gloves. And our inventory is full. Let's have a look. So... No, we do have pants. 
and replacing them won't do anything to get rid of our wet status. Just in case you're wondering, you can't just replace your clothes and suddenly you're not wet anymore. That's not how it works. Well, that's pretty much all of it. Yep. We don't need any of that stuff. Let's check our inventory. I could just throw it away, so yeah, we can just discard it, because we really don't need that. And our inventory space is rather limited. Alright, not going to use the fire just yet. Oh, well, we are starving right now. Really? Can we not eat something? Oh, right. Even if we eat something, that's not going to help because we have parasites. So unless we fix that problem, and I'm not sure if we can. Can we make some tea? Whatever it was called. We are literally about to die just now. So... Where was it? I don't see it on the list at all. We can clean the water. It was kind of my own fault. I assumed the water is clean. But it wasn't. I didn't notice. Yep, we can't do anything to get rid of our little problem with this entry. And we're dead. Well, that's the flame in the flood. It's quite an interesting game, despite this being a very, very early version. I might do a little bit more than this. We survived three days and we traveled 4.1 kilometers. But hopefully this gives you a decent enough idea of what the game is about. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.